Fluids, Pascal's principle, and hydraulics. Questions to ponder. What is Pascal's principle? What is mechanical advantage? And how do hydraulic systems work? Pascal's principle. Liquids are incompressible, so Pascal theorized that pressure applied to a confined liquid increases the pressure throughout the liquid by the same amount. In other words, the pressure created by pushing this piston down here is going to be transferred through the liquid over to this piston here, and the pressure on this piston is going to be the same. Well, so in other words, the pressure out should be equal to the pressure in. That being the case, since pressure is force divided by area, then we can create this equation, and then we can solve for the amount of force coming out here by multiplying both sides by A2. And then I also switch sides here. So if I multiply both sides by A2, we can see that the output force is going to be equal to the input force divided by that input area and then multiplied by this greater area. Since A2 is greater than A1, then force 2 is going to be proportionally greater than force 1. And we get mechanical advantage. Probably an easier conceptual way to look at this mechanical advantage is through this concept of work. The amount of work that we put in is going to be equal to the amount of work that we get out. So the work out of this system is going to be the force applied by the piston upward times the distance that this piston moves upward. The work in is simply the force on this piston going downward times the distance that this piston is pushed downward. So we end up with this relationship. Now notice that you don't get something for nothing, that this output force, though it's a lot larger because uh, of our mechanical advantage, the distance we had to push this piston is much greater than the distance that this piston went up. In fact, it's the inverse uh, of uh, inverse proportion as we had with our areas here. Nevertheless, we get a much larger force out even though we have to push with a smaller force for a greater distance. It's easier for us to do that. And that's how hydraulics work. <laughs>
is going to be equal to the amount of work in divided by D2. So 900 newtons was our average force. 20 meters was the accumulated distance that the piston pushed. And therefore, the larger area piston that moved up 2.2 meters, we divide by that, and we get a total force of 8,182 newtons. So um, over nine times the uh, mechanical advantage here to uh, lift that car. So let's see if we can answer those questions now. What is Pascal's principle? What is mechanical advantage? And how do hydraulics systems work? Scratch has his parting idea. And keep on your quest for continuous improvement.